Hey guys, Alex Brinkman here, uh, author of the Divi Font Awesome plugin for the Elegant Themes Divi theme, uh, WordPress theme. And today I wanted to talk about something that I get asked quite a bit, which is how to use Font Awesome icons in other places outside of the Divi Builder. And it's definitely doable. The way the plugin works is it pulls in Font Awesome just like you would normally load it into a project if you weren't using Divi or WordPress. And that gives you complete access to Font Awesome using CSS, the way that Font Awesome was intended to be used. And you can use that literally anywhere on the site that you want. And I'm going to show you one example, but you can definitely take what I'm going to show you and use it however you want on your website. Um, the nice thing is that you know it pulls Font Awesome in so that way you can use it in blurbs and stuff like that. Um, but again, with CSS, you have full access to do whatever you like with it. So I'm going to jump over here to a demo site uh, that I put together for this, and you'll see that we've got font awesome icons here and some blurbs and, of course, on a button. Uh, and I'm going to show you how to put it up here into this navigation sec section here. So if I jump over to uh, my menus, the first thing that I'm going to want to do is uh, add some classes to these menu items so that way we can start putting icons on them and to get this box to show up if you're not familiar with it if you scroll up to the top of the page to where your screen options are you'll see that under advanced menu properties we have CSS classes and if you check this box that's when these boxes will show up so for home here I'm gonna give it um, a class of DFA for Divi Fun Awesome nav icon and then I'm going to give it a separate class, a second class. This first one will be to hold all of the declarations, the CSS declarations that will affect all of our navigation items. And then the second one will be um, one that will just be specific to this uh, home link here. So I'll do DFA nav icon dash dash home, as you can see in my kind of pre-populated box here. Um, and then for services, I'm going to do the same thing, except for instead of home, I'll just write services. Or I'll do service, um, just to keep it consistent here. So I'll save my menu. And now what this has done is it's added those two classes to each of our items. So if I jump back here and refresh our page, nothing has changed up here. But if I inspect this element here, we'll see that this list item now has DFA nav icon and DFA nav icon dash dash home as two additional classes on it. And that's what we're going to use to add our icons in. So the next thing we're going to want to do is go to appearance and go to editor if you have a uh, child theme installed on your site. I definitely recommend every project should use a child theme whether you, you think you're going to have a lot of customizations or customizations or not. Um, it just kind of reduces the likelihood that you're going to run into obstacles down the road, you know, should things change in Divi. Um, you just never know. So I like to use a, a child theme on every project that I do. Uh, if you're not using a child theme, then of course you could write your CSS that we're about to write in Divi into the custom CSS um, field that they, Divi provides. So you'll see that I've got a couple things already here set up, and we're going to target this class here. This is going to be our selector, the DFA nav icon. And then I've got uh, a greater than caret, or the closing caret, and then a. And just to kind of break this down, if you're not super familiar with CSS, this is saying this is our selector, so this class. And we're going to target uh, any anchor links that are direct children of this class. If we didn't include this um, caret and we just did DFA nav icon and targeted anchors within that, then every single anchor link under this class would receive the icon and that's not what we want we just want the top level ones to receive it now if you wanted to get more specific and um, you know maybe you wanted every icon to have it in, you know in that child menu if you've got a drop down menu you could get rid of that and play around with the CSS and this would apply to all of them but for our example we just want them to show up here on these top level ones so that's why we have this carrot here and this is telling us that we're going to be using a pseudo element in CSS, and we're going to be using the before pseudo element. Um, so just to kind of break it down here, we're going to set our content by default to empty. Um, we'll set our display to inline block, so that way the icon will show up next to the text for the navigation item and not above it. Um, we'll set the font family to font awesome, and again, this is um, camel case, so capital F, capital A for font awesome. 
And then I'm going to set the margin right to 10 pixels just to give it a little room. You can play around with this however much, you know, however, however much spacing you want between the icon and the navigation text. Um, and then we'll go down here, and this is going to get more specific. So we're saying now we want the class um, DFA nav icon dash dash home. So whatever we put here will only affect our home navigation item. So uh, this is where we want to put our icon, and we'll set our content. Uh, we put the slash there. Now let's find a good icon for this. Um, Font Awesome comes with a handy home icon. So let me f scroll down here and find it. Here it is. And what we want is this Unicode here. So F015. So let's jump back over to our CSS and we'll put that in there. And while we're here, we'll also do our service one. And we'll set our content to, let's see if we can find a good icon for services. Maybe like a, uh, a wrench or something I think people commonly use. So let's see here. Uh, wrench, here it is. And this one is F0AD. So let's go ahead and add that here. And that should be all we need if I update my file and refresh this page. Our icon should now show up here for these items. Yeah, see, so there they are. Uh, and that's really all there is to it. And again, you can take this CSS and really play around with it. The principles are going to be the same no matter where you want to put the icons, what you want to attach them to. Uh, just make sure you're applying the classes that you want to use so you can um, target them with the CSS selectors and go from there. So uh, if you have any other questions, let me know. Or if there's other places you'd like to use Divi Font Awesome and you're not sure how to do it uh, and you can't figure it out from the CSS, shoot me a message. I'm happy to help however I can. So, all right, cool. Thanks, guys, and thanks for uh, all the support for the plugin. I really appreciate it.